My name is Adam Quinn. I'm a senior lecturer here at the Political Science International Studies Department. Uh, my research is on the United States, on international politics, and bringing those two things together on United States foreign policy. Uh, I'm working right now on some publications about the power of the United States in the international system, uh, its military strength, its economic strength, its political uh, strength in the international system, uh, and about the issue of rising powers and how the United States is going to maintain its position as the leading power in the international system over the course of the years and decades to come. I'm also interested in the domestic politics of the United States in particular and how that connects with its foreign policy. There are a lot of arguments within the United States about the kind of world power that it wants to be. Should it be a nationalistic power that's trying to increase its own wealth and its own military strength relative to others? Or should it be trying to build a world order that's much more liberal in its characteristics and spread its ideological ideas around the world? What is the national interest of the United States is not something that's already objective and decisive it's something that Americans fight about amongst themselves a lot and I'm very interested in those arguments and how they relate to the foreign policy that it then pursues in the world. I teach a couple of modules within the department uh, both on United States foreign policy, one for uh, undergraduates and one for people taking our MA program. Uh, it's called Contemporary United States Foreign and Security Policy for undergraduates, US Foreign and Defense Policy for MA students. Uh, that covers a lot of really contemporary issues with regard to US foreign policy today. Uh, we talk about American policy in the Middle East, uh, nuclear proliferation, terrorism, relations with Russia, relations with China, relations with European allies, new threats like, uh, like cyber security, etc. And we try to keep that as up to date as possible. Um, these are all moving issues, changing all the time in the news, and I keep very much up to date with that. I'm on social media a lot, sharing articles for the benefit of the students as we go along. Sometimes uh, I even write things online or appear on uh, radio or on TV myself to talk about some of these things. So we try and make sure that it's really up to the minute uh, discussion of the current policy dilemmas facing US uh, policymakers. But we also try to put those things in some kind of context on the modules, try and make sure that people who take the module come away with a sense of the history of the United States with relation to a lot of these issues, uh, that they understand the institutions that are used in the making of US foreign policy so that we don't all obsess just about the president. We know that there are a lot more actors in the American system. And we also try to think about the long-term driving factors of American foreign policy the economic uh, drivers, the ideological drivers, the quest for security and power, these things that over the longer term we can see shaping the way the United States relates to the particular issues that come up. So I hope that by the time people come, and come away from taking these modules, they are able to really arrive at decisions about what they think about some of these issues uh, that are more mature and informed and consistent than the ones that perhaps they would have started out with, and that they can develop the ability to think in a critical and informed way about some of these things that people are talking about all around them.